In this video, uh, welcome to the channel, by the way. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the different uses for a banana plant. So you can get clean water from it, you can eat, if you, you can get clean water from it, you can, wait, blah, blah, blah. In this video, I'm gonna show you some real amazing uses, some ancient uses for the banana plant. You can do way more with the banana plant than just eat its fruit, which is actually scientifically more of a berry than a fruit. The banana tree is not actually a tree. It doesn't have a woody stem or trunk. It just has a whole bunch of leaves that are all bunched up and rolled up together so densely that it supports the whole plant. You can actually eat this. You can take up water from the roots and you can eat the banana flower. And there's many other things that you can do with it. And I'm gonna show you. This video might save your life one day, so keep watching. So we're gonna cut this down first. This is a new knife. And as I was clearing the jungle, or we're in our jungle garden, as I was clearing it to get here, the blade f flew off. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Okay, I didn't want it to fall in the dirty river. That's definitely not what I want. I should have cut it the other way. Damn it. Really easy to cut, they're really soft. Just really are just rolled up leaves. Getting close to that as that cracks. Okay, right. Look, the bloody blade's coming off. I bought this today. Bought this today. So I've got the whole whole banana tree here, although it's not actually a tree. In Thailand, there's actually a spirit that inhabits wild banana plants, and it's considered bad luck to cut them down. But we're in Laos, and we're in our jungle garden, so we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, you can actually eat this banana stem, and I'm gonna show you which bit you can eat and how to harvest it. So first, just to make it easy, let's just cut a segment off. See, I'd be able to do that in one cut, but bloody knife. Anyway, I know it doesn't look very appetizing, but this could save you life. If you're stuck in the jungle somewhere and all you can find is dirty water like this, look at the river. It's really, really dirty. It's brown, full of parasites, full of parasites and bacteria. What you can eat, is this center bit of the banana plant. You can eat this raw as well, so you don't need to cook it. Look at that. Wow. And I was really, really close to there to get in that central part. That was a real good cut. Keep close to it. So this is really soft. I've got kind of dirty hands, but this is super soft. And this is also banana leaf. And uh, I just want to show you something like in the whole of the banana plant, it has this weird fiber. Like look at this, if you pull on it, can you see that in the camera? You see that? Anyway, I don't know what that is, it's super weird, but this is a leaf that is unfurled. So you can just eat all of this. Here we go. And this provides you with nutrients, provides you with water, there's lots of water in this. If you can't get access to any clean water in the jungle. Get a leaf on your head. <laughs> anyway. And it tastes, it tastes like a cucumber. It tastes like a, yeah, a, cuc a, a slightly bitter cucumber. It's not a terrible taste at all. It's actually quite nice. And then right in the middle, in the middle of it, you can just see how it actually is 
a leaf. So if I unfurl this, you'll see how it will be a leaf of a banana plant. So there's one side of the leaf. And you can see, I don't know if the camera picks it up, the texture of the leaf there. And that's basically, that's basically like that. And it'll unfurl and it'll, it'll be like that. And it's really interesting. So you are, you are just eating the, the leaf. It actually tastes really nice. It tastes like cucumber. If you had some salt to dip it in and some chili, it'd be really nice. I'm going to eat all of this. I'm not going to waste this banana tree. That's the, that's the core that you can eat raw. If you find it from a living banana plant that's still growing and you have to work your way into it, into a nice health, through these nice healthy barriers, then you should have no parasites in, in this food. So you can eat this. You shouldn't get any nasty parasites from it. So I'm also gonna show you another method. So once you've cut down, so let's say, for example, there's loads of muddy water here. This is a big river. And you'll often find that in the jungle, most water will be dirty. And if it doesn't look dirty, it still might have toxins or parasites, many parasites in, in Asia, Southeast Asia. And one way that you can get water without uh, consuming any parasites or anything like that is to use the root system of the leftover banana. So I'm gonna cut this. Okay, so I'm now gonna just carve this out basically. It's gonna take a little while, so I might cut it. Just takes a little bit of time actually. But basically, I'm just mashing it all the way down as far as I can get. And you see this, this, is banana tree tea. This this water is banana tree tea and you can drink this here. If you've got a clean knife, you can drink this, no problem. It goes a little bit purple because it oxidizes and sometimes it reacts with the metal on the knife. But basically, I'm digging this out. You can get real close to it. I'm just basically smudging it down and I'm protecting this outer layer because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna I'm gonna hollow this out, and because this is the bottom of a tree, it's the bottom of the plant, the root system is still alive. And in fact, once I'm done with this plant, it's not gonna die. I'm gonna cut it afterwards in a way that it will grow back again, because it's still got a strong, huge root system, because it had quite a mature plant. So all those roots are sucking up water. They're still doing it now. And you can see that real dirty water there, full of parasites and bacteria, toxins, and pollutants. This banana tree, the roots of it, will actually suck up water from, from the, the ground and from the water table and it will purify it. It will be completely safe to drink. There'll be no parasites or anything. So I'm hollowing this out and I'm gonna get as far as about probably here, maybe half a foot, six, inch, six to eight inches. We're left with this, this tea in the bottom here. I'm gonna actually empty it out because I wanna show you how clean and clear the water comes out from the banana. So I'm going to empty this out. But you can drink it, no problem, and it's really good for you actually. In India, it's considered a medicine. It's considered a really, really good beneficial medicine for you for many things like kidney stones and also for women that are going through the menopause with bad uh, symptoms or heavy symptoms. This can apparently alleviate it, although I've never tried that. So. That is basically an eco jug that will just keep on sucking up water and it will be really, really purified. So I'm gonna basically, it's gonna take a few hours for this. So I'm basically going to show you another use for the banana tree. So the leaves are used for everything. The leaves are used for, in ancient times, they were used for writing, like paper. Uh, now they're used for keeping food, cooking food in, everything like that. But I'm going to use it as a lid for this, so. I 
Oh, and roofing, shelter, really, really waterproof. It's perfect. You basically just line them up like that, and then that's the roof. This is banana rope. So this is the outer leaf of the banana, and when it's dry, is is perfect. So this bit's a little bit wet, but it's going to work. But it's super. Oh, it's really strong for what it is for just a really small little fibre. And the locals around here particularly use this for a lot of like tying up sacks and things like this. That's going to work for me. So that's that's a life saving technique basically. If you're stuck in the jungle or anywhere where there's banana trees, banana trees grow all over the tropics. And if you're stuck and you have no clean water, this is a way of getting it. First, you cut down the stem and you eat all of this. You get all the water out of this, all your electrolytes. And then you do this, you come back six hours later and that'll be full. So I'll show you that later. I want to show you another way that you can eat the banana as well. And that's the banana flower. So we'll go find a banana flower. I'll try not to fall off this balcony here, but I'll just show you this banana flower. So you can see here, this is the banana tree. This is the tree that grows up. I'm sorry for the glare of the sun. And here is the bananas. They grow out in bunches. And below it is the, is the flower. The flower, once pollinated, creates more bananas. There are little structures to the banana that, that get pollinated. You can see a big bee on it right now, so I'm gonna show you it. You can see a bee around there. If you just look real close, there's bees and bugs on it. And these are these, under the, under the big pink purple petals, you can see those, those yellowy white things. And those are what would be bananas if they become pollinated. You can see pollinators on them now. They will pollinate that and that will become banana. Those, all those little, they're called fingers. Once they're pollinated, the flower then moves on, opens up again and behind it will be these maturing bananas. So you can eat those bananas, those green bananas, you can fry them, you can cook them up, and it'll be more like a potato. And you can eat the banana flower as well, you can eat the heart of the banana flower. And those little fingers, you can eat those as well, you can fry them. You just have to remove a little pistol from them. If you're interested in all of this, I was actually thinking of doing a challenge where I go into the jungle maybe for 24 hours or 48 hours and basically survive with just a knife and a hammock. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. It'll be more uh, showing you kind of the things that I've learned of the local area and the plants and things like that and how to survive like the, uh, like the locals do or more like how the ancient locals used to survive. Sorry about the noise. There's some local kids just jumping in the river behind me. Anyway, let's check this out. So we've left it quite a few hours now left it about six hours now you're supposed to leave it about 24 hours um, for it to definitely be all nice and full but this definitely works and there you go look at all that lovely banana water got a glass here let's give it a little taste so this is pure water it is safe to drink as long as you've covered it there may be an ant in there you can see an ant floating about but you just you just grab that one out nice and simple and uh, yeah taste taste away that's some good h2o right there it tastes like cucumber it tastes sugary almost like the sweetness of a coconut but it's not coconutty it tastes like coke it tastes like cucumber but it's very sweet as sweet as coconut water but it tastes with the, it has the aroma and taste of cucumber. Anyway, that's the survival technique. That's how you can save yourself in a, in the jungle or in any kind of tropical area where there's no safe drinking water. They're just a few of the many uses for the banana plant. And yeah, if you keep what look, I'm thinking about doing a challenge where I go into the jungle and just survive off of the banana plant for 24 to 48 hours. So let me know if you're interested in watching that. Comment down below. And uh, if enough people are interested in that, then I'll definitely do it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, turn on the notifications if you haven't. Uh, give me a like, comment below, and have a great day. <laughs> Yay!
Oh, she's found a new little area. Lilu! Lilu! What's this? Lilu! So excited! Lilu! 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 What's this? What's this? She thinks there's something under it. Oh, Lilu! She's not interested at all. She's in hunting mode. Her mum just saw a chicken and uh, chased the chicken away. So that's uh, something that we try not to let her do. So give her a little smack next time we see her. Hang on, Greg, what are you doing? We're not doing this. <laughs> anyway. Thing. We're about six hours later, and I really hope this has worked. <laughs> yeah, again, sorry about the noise. But I really hope this has worked because obviously I'm trying to show you this. But let's see, let's check it out. I think what I'm going to do is just fill it with water. You've just uncovered it, not full. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there is water in it, it works. It's just, it's, it's too slow. I wanted to show them it full though, because it fills up. Well, maybe you can do that in, a, in another video. <laughs> Should I just fill it up? Cover it again, uncover it, be like, wow! And then in the end, at the end of the video, just put all this stuff in and be like... Because then, you know, it's the dra dramatic effect, but then, if, you know, for my regulars, my fans, I'm not really lying to them, they've stayed long enough to realise that, you know, there is water, that you can get water from it. Look, there is water, show it, prove. There's clean water in there, that is clean water and it's not milky from banana or anything, it's pure purified water. But we've not left it long enough. <laughs> what shall I do? Oh, it smells really good. That tastes really good. That genuinely tastes good. Taste that, Molly. What does that taste like? You got a mosquito on your head. Oh, like cucumber. Tastes like cucumber water, right? Yeah, yeah, like cucumber. Is there another one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so good at making videos. <sighs> oh, there's kids. <laughs> hey, let's see if the kids like it. Dimbo. What? <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Seb. 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 Seb.